guys, we are back with the Bad and Bougie podcast. My name is Moe Bebe, also known as the Goddess. And I'm Tolani Baj, aka Tolani Baj, aka T Baj, aka the biggest Baj. Hello. Hi. Mm. Long time no see. Long time no see for real, for real. Really short in like what, two weeks? Yeah, in about two weeks. And I've been getting messages like, oh, what's going on? You haven't sent, you haven't posted any videos? What's it's not? just been a week though that they haven't seen us. I really thought it was two weeks though. So. No, it will be two weeks. Okay, but here we are. We're back to save the day. <laughs> yes, indeed, we are. But guess what? I won't say that it's necessarily sad to be leaving, but it's our final episode of the season. Season finale. Mm. And I'm actually happy because I need to rest. I've been doing yeah. it a lot. and This job is not easy. Constantly being dragged, constantly <laughs> being questioned for your opinions. Yo. You know, constantly almost being almost sued. Oh my God, we even need to talk about that, but I don't know if we can give them that much information. Well, but okay. Just know that we had a case like that, but yeah. God is in control. And nonetheless, we're still here. We're still standing. Yeah. So it goes to show that we really love you guys. You go- bringing, God's strongest soldiers. We're bringing this content, even with all, all the... Basbos. The basbos. All of that. All the hurdles. Yeah. We bring it back. But I wouldn't have it any other way, though. Like, I love this show. I love this duo. Mm -hmm. I love what we have going on. And I love the fact that we can just entertain Nigerians. Because whether you like it or not, Nigerians need entertainment. Yes, A lot of people are not happy. Mm -hmm. But with our content, whether you like it or not, you love the show. You like it. You like the show. You gain some things. You will. You just got to watch the full episode. Not just the clickbait online. Mm. Watch the full episode to know what we truly stand for. Exactly. So this week, what we've decided to do is just, you know, do a little bit of a rundown of some of our highlights. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that maybe need a bit more clarification. Mm -hmm. Um, And just, you know, also major shout out to those who actually were guests Mm -hmm. on the show because Mm -hmm. it's not easy it's safe to say that people that apparently come on podcasts they should be ready to be dragged (laughs) do you believe that though i i just feel it's the way nigerians are taking podcasts Mm -hmm. really because uh, hello the podcasts all from all parts of the world Mm -hmm. but i don't think people are afraid to go on them Well, that's because Nigerians are not ready for the truth. Mm. Like any guest that comes on a pod and is 100% honest, there's a chance that they will get dragged. Yeah. But if you come on the pod and give politically correct answers, Mm -hmm. then blogs will not even pick it up, first of all. Mm. People will not even see it. It won't get traction like Mm. that. So I will say kudos to those who decide to come on pods and speak their truth. Yes. Regardless of what society will say. Live life unapologetically. And that's and what I live life on your own terms. On your own terms. Regardless and I feel of what like that's what say. makes people bad and bougie. Yeah. So so far this season we've had the right guests. Mm-hmm. No one has tried to sue us. Yeah. <laughs> and neither has anyone come and said um, you know, this is not what they meant, or this is not what they mm-hmm. said, or we were trying to make them mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. or like maybe try and insinuate that we put a gun to the head while yeah. they were speaking. We did their a truth. good, we did a good job choosing we guests yes, this we season. Did. I can't we even lie. Did. Like everybody, everybody was happy to be on the pod. Yeah, that's what we like. Like mm-hmm. you, you, li- you leave here with an experience. Yes. Oh my god, this is not what I was expecting to mm-hmm. see. Like the vibe is just different once you come and feel it here. Mm-hmm. I agree. I, I like that. I yeah. absolutely love it. So what um I'm gonna do a quick rundown actually of all the topics. How many episodes had. have we done this season? So far twelve. Mm. Oh no, this is our twelfth. So so far so 11. eleven. Okay. So we had living as single ladies in your thirties. That was just with me and you. That was the first one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fun. I think that was the one that you said that you lost your virginity at twenty four. I didn't say that. You didn't? Girl, please. Uh, are you sure? Me, me, and my, me and my virginity is my business. Okay. Why would I come online and talk about my virginity? Uh, oh, wait, did I? You actually did. I don't think I did. At 24. But anyway, losing your virginity at 24 is, is something to I be th- proud of. I think about. that's a very decent age. Yeah. So I, I didn't understand I why just do not remember that I put that out there. Wow. <laughs> do you really Too believe that on podcasts, reason. though, that there's something in the room that just makes you just say more than you would have probably said? <laughs> I actually said it. I remember saying that. I was just catching you. You know me, I like to play. Like, you guys need to stop (laughs) taking everything I said too seriously. Yes, I did say that. Yes, I remember saying that. I just wanted us to have fun. Laugh. Mm -hmm. Laugh. Why are you guys reading too much meaning into what is not there? That's how Insta blogs were dragging me that T-Bat said she's 24. I'd be, what, what? 
Yeah, you did say. I was just catching Chris. Most recent episodes. I was just catching Chris. You are not yet 24. You are 2024 in in December. December. My birthday month is not even in December. (laughs) I'm an October baby. Like people that I know, they watch a video and say, oh, she's just catching Chris. But because T Badge is a messenger and I won't enter T Badge, Mm. why? Well, you can just laugh. Then you can just laugh. Laugh. I agree. We then had um, friendship and loyalty with Ruga. And Ruga opened up about, you know, things that he had said about Buju when oh they were God. no longer friends. I think that was even just before they dropped this there. And the next one that I know we had was Paving Your Own Way featuring DJ Obi. Mm. Obi's house. That was it was a, nice having him in the studio. It was. That was a serious episode. Mm. Yeah. It was. But I think that there was one controversial thing that came out of it, which was his whole take on, um, you know, Wizkid, um, denouncing, um, what do you call it? Um, Afro Afrobeats. Beats. And I he was like, that. you guys won't understand because you don't have a passport. I was like, oh, <laughs> Did they have Black Harita? I... I don't remember don't seeing that around. I think me. they did. They yeah. carried our Who Fumbled in that. Um, who was the person that fumbled in that? It was Sasuke, big brother, colleague of yours. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it was when, you know, her whole um, boyfriend issue that she had. Mm, I remember that now. Yeah, where wow. he was caught cheating. That seems so long ago, yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that was that was the part that was of interest to blogs. But some blogs also, like music blogs, mm-hmm. carried that and I was like ooh Obi a little bit of controversy there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but DJ Obi is not even controversial at all at all but how I do feel, you feel about that though I feel him coming on the show just brought a little a little, a little controversy for him a little razzle dazzle mm, a little, little razzle dazzle to his to his very very calm aura mm-hmm. oh yeah then straight after we had Jackpot Chronicles with, with Shade Ladibo I love that one one of my favorite one. episodes yo I love that because it really really felt like you know like a proper girly chat yeah um, and there was lots of things I learned um, from that episode I learned mm. that you know it, you, you can be dating someone um, but you know once you get married it, it, the dynamic sort of changes yeah. and then it even changes more when you guys travel out like mm-hmm. you guys literally you know take your marriage or your relationship out of the country mm-hmm. into as a lot of people will say it's more civilized climate I feel it's that civilization that mm-hmm. also can cause a strain on people's marriages and relationships so I learned that from that episode then I know the next was the lifestyle course now, now you, you know no hey. we didn't think this was going to be controversial at that all that was the Seven million, right? Ah, Guys seven to fifteen seven million. Seven to fifteen million to ball, to, to ball in a club. Now, can I just make something clear? Please let them know because it's like you guys didn't understand the utterances from my. <laughs> they lips. don't know the difference between ball. We ball. said ball. ball. How much money do you ball. need to make an impression in the club? Because when we're talking balling, I'm not just talking you just walking in and saying hi to your friends. Mm. No, I mean like. Ball shut down the club. People know that you're here. Uh, you are, we're talking millions now, and I feel you, seven to fifteen was more. very accurate. When you go out with your guy friends, right? On average, like how much do they spend on bottles? Ah, uh, I don't used to look at the bill. To be honest, like I can't even much, say. Sometimes you can feel. Yeah. yeah. So you know, five million. I feel is probably most likely what they are spending. I don't know. I haven't seen with my two eyes, but mm. every day we see like receipts. We see like. How much somebody spends in a club mm. and it's not one million. Mm. So why are people angry with me mm. <laughs> or us for stating true facts? Mm. So yeah, that was um the one. I think another thing that's really, really caused this stir was Please girl, how do you remember all these things, please? Because Because once they're dragging me like this, I wanna forget it. No, but it wasn't even well, okay, this one was particularly about dragging, but even just like because we've done the show together, I know I know some of the things I you said. You know now. a lot, girl. I don't even remember. So that means you're just talking. Yeah, you know, you based on how I'm saying. feeling you know, I just sometimes want to give you guys a different feel. I want to be <laughs> honest with you guys, but then I forget that oh, I was a little bit too you honest. You are too honest. That's just a problem. But like, mm. there are people out there who also believe in my views. They just don't have the courage to come, to out, come out to speak it. For real, for real, But y'all for be real. knowing that Talani Bash says the truth. Own it with your chest. I do. Mm. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> and then the whole talk about 800k week and whether your man can afford it or should not afford it. That. Uh, but men also- should also date within their tax bracket as yes. well. We got dragged for that though. We got dragged for mm-hmm. that majorly. Mm. Misconceptions featuring Ivorian Doll. IBD in the house. She brought a very interesting... Yeah. Vibe. She I came think, with a lot of energy. I, I think what majorly trended from that one was the fact that you know we touched on her sexuality. Mm-hmm. She spoke about it. 
And she also talked on her experience with, with Lagos girls. Lagos girls. Yeah. Do you know that up to today, mm-hmm. people are still leaving comments. What are they saying? Daida fighting. Oh, arrest her. <laughs> people are like, what She's do not you even Nigerian. How are you arresting an Ivorian? I love some other people are saying, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean that what we should arrest truth? her? Oh my God. When there are other worst things. Dilemmas are big. What? I mean, I enjoyed... I mean, overall, I would say that season two was definitely better than season mm-hmm. one, in my opinion. Which mm-hmm. season would you prefer, season one or season two? I liked season two. Mm-hmm. Um, so far, I feel like a major highlight for me was definitely Shay and Kuti coming on the show. Oh, yeah. Um, I really, really liked his episode. Yeah. I got the to meet him for the first one. time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he, will, he brought energy and he was honest as well. Mm-hmm. Nigerians are not used to honesty, but he delivered. Yeah, and I also just like the fact that, you know, he spoke about marriage and showed us different sides and lights to mm-hmm. marriage. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think it was very, very enlightening. Mm-hmm. Are you convinced episode. to get married now? From that episode? Mm-hmm. No. I'm even more, I'm more convinced <laughs> not to. <laughs> so what can convince you to get married? Um, I feel, I feel like I'm a very energy person. So I feel that if I am saying that I have met the right person, yeah. then maybe it will all follow. Mm-hmm. But as of now, I haven't met the right person. But the door is still discussion. open, though. That is a possibility. Yes, like, the yeah. door is still open. Oh, I don't know if I want to get married, y'all. But I'm praying to God. And I've been feeling like this since I was 21. I still don't know. Like, marriage, oh God, it's just not exciting in my opinion. I don't want to get dragged. <laughs> but, yo, I really want to give you guys a lot of tea. But, like, I just, maybe I just need better examples around me. I need to go out and be able to see committed married women women who are married and are not cheating on their husbands i need to see that oh so you feel like more like so you are both genders cheat. okay like let's not especially in this lagos lagos is very dirty so both genders cheat it's not yes, like one let's cheats not, more let's not say i know that when she came she said that women cheat more well i don't know about who cheats more but both parties both, cheat yeah let's not even lie it's just that Men, dirty linen are out there more than women. Mm. But both parties, maybe they get bored in their marriage. I actually don't, I don't know the sole cause of them cheating. Mm. It could be boredom. It could be lack of attention. Mm. It could be poor finances. What's the reason why you're cheating? Like if you're going to cheat. Poor finances. Yes. Now, if you don't, for instance, a married woman now, she's married to a man. How is man is supposed to be the provider now? Okay. The man is unable to provide. To give her something. She okay. will start stepping out mm. with a man who, who can comfortably give, give her provide. What, give what she's looking for. Yeah. Okay. So get your finances up if you want to get married. That's all I'm saying. Because when streets, money ain't that love be sweet. These streets are not smiling. Yeah. <laughs> and Lagos is too dirty, man. Mm. Please. Maybe if I, I don't know if I'm ever going to move out of Lagos, but I love Lagos so much. Yeah. So do you think you could be in an interracial in an in interracial? I wouldn't relationship? even mind dating an Asian man, man. Asian. I came across yes one Chinese I, man like that. I swear we've had this discussion. I told you that I don't think it can please you sexually, Alicia. I have to try. And have you tried an Asian man before? How do you know that? I have dated uh, not Asian Chinese, mm-hmm. Asian like Indian, how and was, I've also dated Asian sex? Arab. How was the sex? Nothing spectacular. Why did you try to teach him? I don't, please, I'm too old to be teaching somebody. I beg if you don't know. Why do you to, call yourself If you don't old? know how to do something. Are you old? What do you mean by old? I don't mean like I'm ancient. I just mean like I'm mature. Like, hello. I, I am a woman. I know my body. So I you're not I a teacher. Be What's wrong somebody. with you teaching? Like, babe, you're not going harder. Babe, yeah, you're, you're sh- not going you're harder. Sh- <laughs> Babe, I'm going to need you to go harder, slower. I'm to the left, to the right. To the left, to the right. Babe, <laughs> touch me here. Babe, touch me there. Shock me. Why can't you say all of that? Maybe like the first day, just because me, I'm just trying to navigate your way around this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, after the first day. No, I mean, t- three times is okay now. I after you. teaching him thrice and he's not changing. You're not going to teach him. You're not going to carry his, the skills that you taught him to go and so, show uh, somebody hey, I'm else. perfect <laughs> with another somebody day. Else. That is life now. <laughs> fair. We all learn from we experiences. Fair, fair. Yeah. But I don't want to be that the experience. Teacher. I don't want to be that teacher. Thank you. If you Girl, don't know, you please. don't know. I don't mind teaching, you know, because nice. we are both gonna pleasure each other. That's and lovely. if you're not doing something right, I'm gonna teach you. That's lovely. Yes, no. Mm. Nah, if you're not doing something right, watch. I after just... this episode, we will start teaching her next people. <laughs> She's acting like she will not teach the men. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. I just tend to enjoy myself with mature men that know what they are doing. I'm not here to be teaching anybody. 
Ladies, if you want to teach a man, it's okay to teach a man. It's okay if that's what works for you. Please, okay. But what personally works for me are people who already are experienced and know what they're doing. And that has okay, worked well, fine. To each his own. Oh, well, yeah, now. <laughs> but I'm a teacher, though. <laughs> and then another guest that we had was Nas Boy. Nas Boy. The art of influencing. Mm. You know, it, that influencers every day. Every every day there's a new influencer coming up. Yeah. Ones that we should take note of, ones that we should not bother about because come next week, nobody will be talking about them again. True. So it was really nice having Nasboy on the show to obviously like ask him mm-hmm. what makes you like, you know, a long standing influencer. Mm-hmm. And then that was also around the period of that whole, you know, Don Jazzy, Whiskey, <laughs> Whiskey that busy everybody. What a time. What a time. And he also came on the show and was dragged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it was Whiskey the FC that yeah. dragged, that <laughs> dragged spoke, him. I actually enjoyed speaking about his transition from mm. music. I mean, skit making yes, to, to music an artist. And still maintaining that skit making. Yeah. So yeah. I like that. Um, really, really enjoyed that episode. Um, gender Perspectives in Society featuring... Uh, you enjoyed this episode because you were... Who was you, a guest? DSF. You were oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you gave her flowers. Of course. You told her, <laughs> you know, like how much you, you know, like literally followed her since you were abroad and mm-hmm. whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I loved having her on the show. Yes. Like, so I mean, she came with a lot of energy. Yeah, she did. And we did get to see a different side of her. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then we also spoke about Skibi as well, her ex. Mm. And um, she didn't say too much. I mean, she said enough, but not, enough. not a lot. Enough. But not, yeah. Yeah. I also like how she also sort of touched on, you know, single parent, um, like coming from a single parent home. Mm-hmm. I know that that also trended. Mm-hmm. Um, that was like a conversation a lot of people were having online, mm-hmm. um, whether or not, um, you know, people want to settle with people who are from single parent yeah. homes. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that. And yeah. oh, but by the way, I actually saw Skibby like like three weeks you after saw, this You episode. saw Skibby? Yeah. How did that go? It was okay. Like, did you say nothing about the show? Like, girl. Did I, I, I say I, anything? Who did? Did you? I didn't. Yes, you did. I remember what no, you said. No, what did I say? Just joking. Exactly. <laughs> Just joking. I'm not his ex. I'm not the one that holds a grudge. I'm not the one making any claims online. So mm. why would he beef me? So we had like a we had a good you time. Could be guilty by association now. Like yeah, but you know, and you know a lot of people do that, especially with I do that too. With this our job, like a lot of people are guilty by association. Do you know how many people are putting me in that same bracket because of you and vice versa? Do you know how many people are putting me inside that bracket because of you? Eh, so both of us. But we we'll take it. We we'll take the we'll blame take together because now, we are we're partners, baby. We are partners. We are a duo, <laughs> and this is bad and, and bougie. bougie. All right, then love and commitment featuring your Shags. friend Shags. And also now Shags, my new friend. Shags came here and gave us the, the good boy that he truly is. That he really is. I thought that we we're going to see a different side of Shags, man. He came here and gave us politically correct answers. I was just like, honest, guy, loosen up. I feel like he still gave us a different side because like the side that I already had of him from Big Brother yeah. wasn't necessarily what he gave me here. No, 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 no. Maybe because I just met him like maybe it's been two months now mm. and that's who he truly is. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, if he comes here, he will let us see more mm. only for my guy to maintain steez. Really maintain the steez He though. maintained it and just told us what But I was. really like how he like, you know, touched on, you know, his deep connection that he obviously has He's with his committed. girlfriend. He is committed. Um, and yeah, he was a perfect guest for that mm-hmm. topic. Yeah. Um, okay, I did touch on Sharon Footy, <laughs> but yes, that, so far that was actually my best because Sharon was one of the yeah. guests that he didn't give me... Well, he tried. He tried to give us... I wouldn't say they were politically correct answers. They were no, just he didn't more care. like... he didn't care. did not care. He was very smart with how he articulated himself. Mm-hmm. But we were able to catch him at the yeah. end mm-hmm. when he now just blessed it all out. Yeah. About, I must say though... Yes. A lot of men need to be more like Shegs, okay? Shegs or more like Shegs? Shegs. I'm talking about Shegs. Oh, okay. my bad. <laughs> you see how he loves his babe and how he's committed to her? Please, if there's a man out there who loves their babe and can be committed to a woman, holla. But Come and love me. But what? So, but will you say that what Sheung was not committed to his wife? I'm not yes. talking about Sheung. Please, I mean, I'm talking about Sheung. Don't mix Sheung and Kuti with Shakes. But I just did not conclude Shakes. That's why I went back to oh, Shakes. All right. Okay, but then what did you also now grasp from? That from Shew, I'll come back Shew. to Shew. Okay, but Shags, a lot of men need to be more like Shags. You know, I'm single. <laughs> Hello, I'm single. And you know, if you can love a woman, be committed to a woman. Holla, <laughs> you know. 
carry me like a trophy wife or a trophy girlfriend that I am. You know, let's love each other. Let's have loyalty. Mm. And let's grow. Shout out to that man. Shout out to that man who has not <laughs> found me yet. I actually don't understand how my man is out there. Like, your missing rib is still missing. I'm your rib. <laughs> you understand? How are you surviving without your missing rib? You have peace of mind. You can sleep without your missing rib? Come on now. Hello. I'm tired. I'm ready to complete you. Are you sure that you're putting yourself out there strategically? I don't care about strategic, room. please. I beg. I don't ah, know in me. this Lagos, it has to be strategic. That's the about Lagos. This is why I say Lagos is dead. <laughs> why do I have to be strategic? Why can't a man just see me and say, this is this is her. Like, this is my rib that I've been looking for. Mm. Why? I'm hard everybody's, working. Pl- everybody's playing the game now. I'm so beautiful. they would also automatically think that you're playing the game as well. I don't play games, though. That's the thing. I don't play games. But I'm ready to be loved. Love of me, come Please. and butter we're my really, bread. We're really, really praying that season three, Tolani would have found her missing rib. Abi, 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 my, yes. Abby, your missing my, rib. Rib, my missing rib would no. have found me. Yeah, yeah, yes. You shall get the juice. The person will shall find you. Yeah, find yeah. me. But find, the thing I, is, find us. Keep I'm us. actually <laughs> more productive without men in my life. Yeah. That's also somewhat where how I feel. Like the energy that I've been putting into my work in the last three weeks. Chill. I started DJing. I bought a new car. I'm going on a club tour next week, and that's because I'm not talking to any man. If you were talking to a man, Bro. it's most likely you have a little bit of distraction. Yes. You know, women, like, we tend to just, you know, relax a bit mm. when, you know, when, when our heart is, you know, it's covered. You know, we know mm. that our hearts. But that's also a personal thing, too, because some people are able to balance their love life of and then their business and of career. Course. But of I course. don't know how to do that, which I need to learn. Mm. I like the fact that I can take accountability and I know where I'm lacking mm. and I just need to be able to find a balance. Mm. It's hard, y'all. Because once it I'm focused hard. on career, I'm focused on career. Once I have a man in my life, like this my career is suffering you know for me i won't say that i totally like my career totally suffers oh, but career. but yes it, it definitely takes a nip i rem- a i nip forget that i gotta be doing things until i'm heartbroken i'm like okay this heartbreak i'm gonna channel it into yeah. my career then I'm I, going t- I tend to use i feel I'm like i've hard. been using heartbreak for the past like six years to keep pushing myself ah, six, I'll say about years. six years okay maybe maybe not six let's say four four years okay i've been single for about yeah four years just realized today somebody asked me how long have you been single for i was like oh Actually, four years. How was your last relationship like? I'm curious to know what Love Girl Mo is like. Oh no, like it was good. Like I don't have any problems with my last relationship at all. Like I, I loved him. He loved me. Mm-hmm. We just didn't. I feel. I think like with me, most of my relationships has just been timing. Mm-hmm. You know, the per like like mm-hmm. I wouldn't say no one is perfect, but let's just say the right person comes along, or the right person that comes at that time is not necessarily fully what I need. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I have definitely been using the fact that, yeah, single, independent woman, that's what's been driving me. So I do agree with you that, you know, when you are sort of like alone as a woman or single. You're going to grind. You will grind. What? But when you have a man, it's almost like, yes, now you're automatically just sort of, not necessarily like you More in your feminine era. Honestly. Yes, but you're more in your feminine. Yeah, thank more you. your feminine so You're energy. more of that soft yeah. girl. You know, if you have any issues, you just quickly go and call your bubble. Right. But you don't have anybody to call, my dear. When you know that your issues have to be sorted by you, are you alone? Right now, <laughs> right now I'm in my masculine era. you very, masculine yeah, energy. As I am. There's no man to fall back on. Mm-hmm. So I got to grind. got to grind. grind and work and work yeah. and work. And even just talking about grinding, we did touch on that um, in our final um, episode, episode 11, which was Girl Code. Girl Code. How did you like that episode? Yeah, I loved it too. I, I loved it. I thought a lot of people actually enjoy it, but how come it got low views? Because people like controversy. People yeah, we don't, don't necessarily them. want us to come and start talking about, yeah, holding hands and kumbaya. People want us to talk about you sex, heartbreak, man, the same man topic people are always complaining <laughs> about. They want to Always yes. talking about man. You even want it. They want it. Because if we mention anything, even... Like, <laughs> I cannot get over that episode that um was it um the lifestyle cost now you know no like I oh. honestly thought that it would <laughs> literally be like this girl code episode mm. I thought it would just yeah people would like it but mm. uh? honestly anything we do I don't even expect people to like it or not I know we do have a growing community mm. but I just feel like whether we spit we cough we dance we hop they're still gonna drag us of course 
Of course, it's because we are the messengers. We are the messengers. This girl could yeah. want to. Mm. I feel now, and maybe even this one, they could drag us now. But there's no. there's a lot of gems in the Girl Code episode. So a if you lot. haven't seen the episode, please go back and watch it. Yes, do. Leave a comment. Engage with us. Ask for advice. We're here. Mm-hmm. We're big sisters. We're gonna help you out. Okay. Because mm-hmm. what are we here for? What are we for here real? for? We're here to learn, unlearn, relearn. Okay. Like I always say. Ooh, I like that. That should be our slogan. <laughs> learn. Unlearn, relearn. <laughs> Girl, what was that? I know. I know that. We got to talk about that. learning. Gotta I feel for girl. the next um, bit of this episode, we're going to go through a couple of dilemmas. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all our guests. <laughs> Shout out to a very successful um, season, season two. two. Yes. Um, and as I said, now the next step is for us to just, you know, run through some of these dilemmas to show you that, yes, we actually do have sense. We actually <laughs> have some <laughs> advice to give. You know, you may not necessarily take our advice so because yeah. even us two are learning, mm-hmm. but nonetheless, Perfect. we are still mm-hmm. very, very intellectually sound women. Yeah. I do feel like we need a name for our community. Like, how come we haven't thought to give our community mm. a name? Like, I really want to say thank you. We can't say thank you, but I'm thank you, Bujurians. the BMBs. <laughs> hmm. But I'm Bujurians. BB babes. Thank you, BB. BB gang. BB gang. Mm, gang. Uh, thank you, BMB gang. gang. Is so 2017. Thank you, BMB rebels. <laughs> BB rebels. No. No. BB. Hmm. We got to think about it. We'll be back. We'll be back. Three with a name. <laughs> we'll definitely be back. We'll be back. Okay. But, but yeah, thank you guys so much um, for the love and support. Yes, major, major love, major love. Absolutely love you guys for sticking with us. Those who love us for what we do, we love you. Those who thank hate you. us for what we do, we it's, equally love you. It's still love in disguise. Those the hate is love in disguise. <laughs> I know that. But so we'll cheers to all three. the success, baby. More money, mm-hmm. wisdom, good health, mm-hmm. good relationships. Mm-hmm. What else, love? More deals. More deals. More accolades, accolades, more recognition, more <laughs> bigger fan base, yes, bigger show. You're so good at this. <laughs> Love, peace, peace, unity, unity. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> this. Mm. <laughs> Why did you add that? Drink it. Wait, I was just trying to. Oh, no, not yet. Not again. Yeah? Because you didn't drink. Come it. on. And you're as you're talking. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what? Either way, that was Cynthia in the building. Okay, yes. welcome back, Cynthia. We haven't had Cynthia on sets for a long, for a long time. time. Shout out to Cynthia, she welcome back, baby she girl. Comes back right at the finale. Yes, when everything is wrapping up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're not judging you. Okay, we understand what's going we on. Understand, we understand. We understand. We understand. And understand. we love you. So yes, let's get to learning, relearning. And, and unlearning. unlearning. You flipped it though. You flipped it, but I it's did, okay. I did, I did. Learning, <laughs> unlearning, learning, unlearning, and relearning. Yes. yes. It is time for our Who Fumbled and um, Dilemmas. Yeah. It's going to be a, a dilemma episode. Yeah. Oh, God. We have a lot of juicy solves. <laughs> Shout don't come back for season three pregnant. With I don't want to see a baby in that belly yet. Why? Why not? Am I not, am I not of age? Are you ready to be a mama? Well, yeah. Mommy Mo. I'm very ready. So huh? wait, wait, wait. You be shooting the pod pregnant. Why not? <laughs> As well, I'm, it's when it's time for maternity leave. I'll leave now. Oh my God. Yeah. So you're ready to be a mom? Of course I'm ready to I be a not. mom. So if you get pregnant tomorrow now, you're ready to be a mom? Why? Are you asking me if I'm going to have bosses? No. I didn't say that too. <laughs> nah, she talk about it. I, I just asked a simple question. I'm not. I'm not going you're to remove to be any belly for anybody. I already told them. If yeah. they don't want to strap up and play safe, you want to play games? So you be having raw <laughs> sex? No, I have not. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I've not had a baby yet. But you know these men, they always be asking, oh, hey, I want to feel you. No. <laughs> But wait, don't wait, wait, feel wait. me. Do you enjoy protected sex or unprotected sex? You've asked me this five have, times and I give you the same answer. Because I actually know the true meaning. No, the answer is, is that I like safe sex. Safe sex is the best sex. <laughs> yes, safe sex is the best sex. It's the best sex. Maybe wow. Tolani is trying to tell us something else. Not me, oh. it's not coming from my mouth. Too. Are you sure that it's not even you that should not come and carry Belen by the time we come back for season three? Me, uh, with my plans, it ain't gonna happen, yo. Mm. Bro. But if you're having unprotected sex, those plans can change. You know, God, the I, I human di- imposes, <laughs> God disposes. Lord, <laughs> Lord, Lord knows I'm not ready now. Mm. I'm gonna be so big with my DJ craft that I just okay, launched. Okay, sis. 
Yes, I love it. I have plans, yo. And a baby cannot just be now. A baby mm. can come in the future, maybe like three years, four years, but not now. I'm seeing a lot of my my friends now, fr- people I used to be friends with, starting families, mm. having babies. I'm just like, wow, we were just babies yesterday. Ah. This is real life. Y'all people pregnant. are moving on. Uh. People Y'all are pregnant moving with on, uh. People are really life moving. Life is so serious for them. I cannot mm. relate. Mm. I'm, but, I'm, I'm ready to have, make my life serious. Especially Please, with a baby. I, I mean, my life is serious, but not that. I'm not ready to be too serious now. I'm too responsible for somebody else, for a child. Mm. Like, my life is just starting, my opinion. Call me the Lulu. But I just feel like my life is yes, just starting. I'm only 24 now, so. I know, right? So I got like, how many more years? Six years? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no. This move. Always doubting. Why are you me. always so doubting defensive to... about this age it's thing? I cannot defensive. just laugh. Who is being defensive? It's funny. Watch it back. Who is being defensive? It's just simple question that it's I ask. It's funny. So. You said you are 24. You're going to be 24. And laugh. I'm, I'm happy like for you years. because I remember when I was 24. It was so lovely. Remind me Full about of laughs. How was your 24? That was literally around the time I just moved back. Mm. So I was like fresh, you know, you know, you just come back from Jan. Ooh, fresh. Everybody was just chasing me. You following me, everybody. Now nah, I'm not part of everybody. So how were you able to guess. navigate through that hoo hoo ha ha? When all the men <laughs> when, when all the men were flocking at you, how were you able to weed out the the wrong ones? Do you know the crazy thing was yeah. as soon as I got into Nigeria, I got into a relationship. Really? Yes. They locked you down like that? Girl. Love a girl. Locked me down for like three years. Three, please. Then I think I had like maybe like a year break and they locked so me down again for another explore. three years. Yeah. How? So that's see, so when I swear when, when I'm telling people that I'm enjoying my it's single bon bon. time now, bon bon. they I guess you're angry. They don't know that I've been doing relationships since. Yeah. So mm. must be nice to have a um big booty. You know, what? how does what men like big booty in this Lagos? Gosh, okay, so it's because of my big booty. That's why, honestly, I can't lie, man. <laughs> they saw that big booty, so the, it's not my the personality. Pretty face. It's not my brain. Your personality it's is not, extra. It's not, I'm it's sorry, it's not my aura. Men in this Lagos, you gotta be the booty first. Once they see the booty and uh-huh, her personality, aura is extra. That is jara, that is plus and extra. But then again, but, I, I, I kind of agree with you because men are, are very, you know, they like, locked like, you down for like, three like years. What they see, Woo! Know? Yeah, men are visual people. Yeah, so. so I wonder if I had a big bum, would I be in a relationship right now? Hmm. I be is, is a big booty hindering me from being in a I relationship. I even think hmm. that big bum will mm. cause problem. Oh, that's it's even hard. She a big bum bum. No wonder all these Sometimes. girls in Lagos are doing BBL. So what to keep to keep men to hold men to attract men to keep men? Hmm. I think so. What's the reason why girls are doing BBL in Lagos? I don't. You want to say it's for themselves? Do you think so? I well, me oh, if I was to do BBL, I think it would be for myself, Sha. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about society right now because we see I, BBLs I can't speak every day. For myself, this is babe. But it's true. I, I miss the old the old mode. I'll keep you hundred. You have changed. How have I changed? You actually, you're not giving us the true answer because off camera, Mo will go upstairs and give me the right answer. No, but it's true. Like me, me personally, I can't speak for other people. But yes, I'm very sure now that women, because men are very visual people, I'm sure that there are women that believe that yes, doing a BBL will solve their problems. But like, I'm here to assure you that having a big booty actually doesn't solve all your problems. I think it does. <laughs> I think, I object. It does. I object. I mean, I don't have a big bum. I'm not in a relationship, but guys are still dying on my matter. Exactly. Let me, so let that, me stop the... So that's he, even... Men are still dying on my matter. But is my point. Yeah. But I actually like men who like me for me because in my head, I'm like, okay, he's not with me because I have a big bum. He gets... And it's fair. That's how I feel. It's, even, like, it's, okay. even, it's actually fair. I, like, I don't I got feel a question like, like, what is the reason why you like me? Me, I feel like if I was a slim girl without a booty and a guy really likes me, I, w- I would be very happy because as you said, in this day and age, it's all about the physical, what you look like. So if somebody is happy with the way you look and that happens to be a slim body, uh, I think I'll take that man very seriously. Mm. At least he's not following the crowd. Real. I like that. I like that. Mm. So dilemma time, girl. Time for dilemma. Let's know these dilemmas. They've been asking us for dilemma since. Give us the first one. one. But let's yeah. see if we can learn, unlearn, and relearn. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. <laughs> learn, unlearn, and relearn. Relearn. <laughs> I like that. So first dilemma, girl. We got dilemmas here. Okay, so let me read the first one. <clears throat> I am a Christian dating a Muslim guy, mm. but he has refused to give me head <laughs> because I love and eat pork. Mm. I will break up with him because I can't do without head. I won't stop eating pork too. <laughs> <laughs> 
he can fornicate with me, but eating pork is where he's drawing the line. What should I do? So I'm confused. Is it is it the eating pork that is the issue, or is it the giving head, or is it that because she eats pork, he won't give her head? Muslim men don't eat pork. Yes, so we get that. Mm -hmm. But if you're eating, you know, a vagina, yes. that's not pork. But is it because okay, what you ingest is what's down there? He can't really? taste the pork. But like. <laughs> I don't see how it correlates. I'm very sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to take any chances. Maybe you'd rather not because she's actually contaminated. In my I can't opinion. even, why? Like she's contaminated she's, because she's eating pork. Yes. He does not eat pork. It's, a, it's an abomination for Muslim men to eat pork. His girlfriend is not eating pork. Why would he be comfortable giving her head knowing that she's eating pork? But does the pork go there? It could. Does all the food? So when I eat pineapples, I taste like yeah, pineapples. That's pineapples and fruit. Okay, so is that maybe mm. when I dice pineapples? Don't you know the song by Rick Ross? No, that's I know, what he I was know, I'm, no, I know. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, that's pineapples. Like, eat that's pineapple fruit. and see how I that it was sweet really your pussy fruit. Gonna taste. I didn't know that it's gonna taste fruity. Meat or fish or chicken, all those things. I didn't. I'm. I'm learn. See, learn, unlearn, I, learn. I relearn. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Actually, I actually understand where both of them are coming from, right? But I feel like it's an excuse though, because what I've heard is that most Muslims don't give head. That's what I heard. That's the thing. That's what I heard. I don't know if that, okay, how true that is. Like, you DJ Khaled now. DJ Khaled was saying, hey, don't, don't eat pussy. He did say that. Yes, now and then Nicki Minaj now spoke boy. about it. In but wait, 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 wait. we Jones. actually don't know. If he has ever given a head, do we don't know that? Exactly. So those are, those are some of the questions you have to ask. Has he ever given anybody has, and else then he stopped, who head? And then he stopped. Is it like, because to me, it seems as if it's really more about the head. And then he's also now using the, her eating pork. She said pork he can fornicate with me, but eating pork is where he draws the line. Exactly. Now that also confused me towards the end as well. I think it's about compromise, right? They can legit plan a day. Like, okay, I'll eat your pussy on Wednesday. And don't eat pork on that day. And don't eat pork on that day. <laughs> Eat eat pork all that day. Or don't eat pork for one week. I literally like I'm is, gonna issue out the only thing that she eats. I'm gonna issue out Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday, baby girl, don't eat pork. Yeah, I feel somebody's like gonna have to compromise. You understand? That's a very you nice both way. cannot be stubborn. If you really want your pussy ate, stop eating the pork for two days and he's gonna eat you out for two days. And okay. then Friday, eat your pork again. Simple. Eat you out for two days. That's a lot of eating out, so. Well, like, you know that you're not gonna eat out next week, so you might as well eat or, or what would you can eat right now? In my opinion. <laughs> It's like a buffet. Polanyi, yeah, all you can eat. girl. <laughs> it's like a buffet. It's like a buffet. <laughs> all you can eat. All you can eat. So baby girl. Let's Better go enjoy all you guys. can eat. Better enjoy. Tell him, mom. <laughs> Tell him. So by the Friday, when it's Friday, I'm going to eat pork. So you better mm -hmm. handle this right now. Mm. I think that's a good way. Like, I guess. And I feel like Tony has you. definitely um, solved that dilemma. Moving uh -huh. on to the next one. Do you agree with that solution? No, I, I do. I do. I feel like it's fair. Relationships are all about compromise. compromise that's yeah. the whole point. Mm -hmm. So if you are so determined on this he getting head, mm -hmm. then you two don't eat pork around the time he's going to give you head. I think so, yeah. Detox. You can't even detox. Uh -uh. As, as, as I ask, is pork the only meat that you must eat? Mm. That's also a very fair question. Is pork that the is only fair. meat that you must eat? I like eat? that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You with the babe, girl, she's very stubborn based on what I can hear. She, yeah, it's stubborn, babe. And it's okay to be stubborn. Men like stubborn women. So, I understand, baby girl. <laughs> Next dilemma. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. So, it says, please, I need weight losing tips for my girlfriend, especially with her belly. Oh, wow. She's a fine girl and very well packaged. Mm. Now, just her stomach, they fuck her up. Wow. And she keeps getting bigger and bigger. Damn. Please, is there anything you can help me with? Hmm. Now, first of all, whenever it comes to, you know, this whole, um, like women sort of gaining weights, most especially even around their bellies and whatnot, um, I feel like the first thing that anyone should ever do <clears throat> is make sure it's not like a hormonal thing. Because mm. there's so many reasons why a woman, yeah, exactly, a woman yeah. could, you know, develop a stomach. Mm -hmm. um, if you met her with a belly, then why are you acting brand new? Real. But if it's a situation that, yeah, you guys were dating and, um, you know, she had a flat stomach or her stomach wasn't as big as it was or whatever, mm -hmm. I feel like it's better to just sort of have a conversation. But the main thing I feel is always go down. Let's even make sure that there's nothing wrong with you health wise. Mm. 
you know, and then once that's sorted, then we now know, okay, maybe it's now like a um, diet thing or it's a fitness thing. That's my take. How about both of them go and register in the gym? How about that? Yes, that's like that's what they should do. But then Literally. sometimes, sometimes, yeah, mm. the going to the gym may not be the reason, may not be the the solution because the it's actually a risk. hormonal yeah. issue. So I feel like the first thing to always check <clears throat> is this a health issue. Mm. Then if you now have thrown that out or you've you've, you've solved that situation, actually, then move I don't on think to. this guy is a serious guy and he doesn't love his girl enough, in my opinion. Because yeah. if you did, belly would not be a problem. Belly of all things, exactly. Belly? Belly? Mind you, this guy gone might even have big belly. You. Unless yes. you you are in the gym. Exactly. Unless you are in the gym, number one. And number two, there's so many other reasons why a woman may even just have a slight belly, even if it's not even health My, related. You know what's not crazy? She Time could of ju- the month. She could have just given birth to. No, men yes. are funny. Very men are funny. funny. She could have just given birth to. Yeah, so. Talking about belly. Like she was not pregnant. Who impregnated her? Nobody. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But mm. women should also like you know be you know, conscious yes, of yeah, be conscious their of their bodies and their looks. And their I do agree with that. Cannot I, everything is compromised. Everything is compromised. You know, don't necessarily be with somebody that makes you feel so insecure, <laughs> but then also be with somebody that lets you know things that you can work on. <laughs> I have another question. Another dilemma. I'm so Let me know. sorry. Okay, girl. It says <laughs> my uncle's wife mistakenly opened the bathroom when I was inside. <laughs> Ever since then, she's been craving my dick. Ah. <laughs> we had sex twice and now she's pregnant for me. Oh. Please, what do I do? <laughs> and I will be looking for my answer in the comments section. Uh, what you should do? <laughs> uh, she's not even funny. I'm so sorry to be laughing. It's, it's not, not funny. funny. What you should do? Mm. Mm. It's gotta report yourself to police station, nearest police station, because her life's about no, to get be, very complicated. Be realistic, for you. like he would really go and like report himself to okay, police no, station. Okay, okay, no. come on, now, let's. I'm just saying, like it's, it's about like shit's about to go, like so, like legit. What should he do? Ah, he he should, do, 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 ah do, do, I don't do, do, know. Do, do. He should confess now. Well, actually, no, should, no, no, no. Should, should I say what? He should have a conversation with the woman first. Okay. And let's know where her mind is at. I like that. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> Are you ready to have this baby or not? You Are you know, ready to lose your husband for me? All those type of questions, These questions are very should now be asked. Are you ready to run away? Is this love that we have? Exactly. It's a lot. Where in some what's where you guys have now reached a conclusion. Uh-huh. <laughs> we hope that both of you are on the same page. It will never be sure. I don't think so. So, because I know this guy for sure is not ready, ready to be a stepfather. So, He's if you ready. guys are not on the same, and how sure are you that even my she is ready to leave her wife. husband? She my, also may not be ready to leave her husband. Wife. So, does that mean that her husband was not fulfilling her sexually? Because why are you looking at people cheat for many reasons, man? What it may not even be? just be that. What maybe, be? maybe, maybe the man is even like maybe her husband is is perfect in bed, but the man is just not available. He's maybe busy. he's. Maybe just maybe the love or the spark is not there anymore. There's so many reasons why people cheat. It may not even necessarily be because the person cannot satisfy you. How could they rejuvenate the spark in their marriage? I wouldn't know because I'm not married, baby. But if you were married, how would you constantly like you know? <sighs> I feel like that? I feel like because marriage, as I've been told, is a journey. You've got to keep on bringing in adventures. You know, you've got to keep on making it exciting. You can't be the same person that I was married to two or three years ago. You've mm-hmm. got to give me something new mm-hmm. as often as possible. Mm. That's that's it. Date nights, traveling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else could they be doing? Date nights, traveling. <laughs> what else? Say. What else? Threesomes. Maybe. Because I know there are some couples that would like yeah. threesomes here and there. Swinging. Just spice all it type up. Of things. What else? Communicating marriage a lot can be more. Boring, sure. And then marriage can also be exciting too. It just yeah. really depends. I guess this is where, you know, you really have to get married to your friend. Yep. I never used to be for that before. Because if we're friends, I can never date you. Before. Mm. But... Yeah, I understand that being a, being friends is like the solid. It's like yeah, it's like a solid foundation. I, I agree. relationship. I agree because person's got to sort of know you some way inside out, and most of most people who are very close to you. That's why most people when they want to like you know write nice captions on like their partner's birthdays, my best friend, my bone, my this, my that. Do you believe those captions? Because sometimes I don't. Um, 
it depends on who. Some people I do. Some people I really do believe. Like people, like like let's say I Ooh, saw a tell me one person let's say I saw believe. a Shewun Kuti wishing his wife happy birthday. I would believe that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that if she, if, here. if he says that's my best friend, that's my backbone. That's I believe that my agony aunts. <laughs> that's my cook. That's actually, my chef. That's my everything. I actually believe that. I will that. believe it. That's some couples have given me that vibe, and I'm like, oh yeah. And then there's some. I'm just like. I make aesthetics mm. so yeah their yeah, marriage is not like the regular marriage so but this very... your guy this dilemma guy mm. oh <laughs> let me say which one I don't know he's in big problems did, we, did we solve his problem for him I can't solve it to be honest I don't think there's a solution had, apart from wait, but, but like the guy is actually very silly we've had sex twice your head did not tell you to use condom mm. medicine after death like do you get like I, you, I don't know how to treat do people. Do you not think, like, <laughs> what if she gets pregnant? How will uh, I handle this situation? But I don't, think, I don't think a lot of people are asking that question. I feel like pregnancy is a list of people's concerns these days and STIs because people are not practicing safe sex. Mm. Okay, well, next dilemma. So sorry, we, we gave you the gem that we, we tried. Could. We tried. I'm like, sorry. You, as you I said, have, you should have just, protected yourself. Just go and just hand yourself over to just go and confess. Just say, Uncle. No, don't I'm do that. I'm sorry. No, I don't. No, I don't agree with that. So what should you run away? You're gonna have to run away, man. <laughs> go get your money up. <laughs> run away. I take care of the baby that you have created. <laughs> do the wife also the wife. The wife should also run away. The wife should get her shit together, man. She Honestly, the person that has the power in this conversation right now, the person that can say this is what we're doing is a woman. Because but it's most likely the woman will say that she wants to still remain with her husband. Then she should find the solution to what's going on now. Uh, the so solution will be hey, in another DNA. This is where paternity fraud. Another, 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 thank you. This another, is where paternity thank fraud you. comes into play. That will be the solution. Yeah, she can easily just have sex with her husband and, and say it's her uh, husband's that's baby. Not me. Yeah. Now you, now you, now this is your baby. That's actually a thing. Uh, it's only God. You know, but funny thing about situations that like God will always just show you what time when everything is going too late too. yeah when, when everything is going good. Child will fall sick. Next thing. Oh, yes. by the way. Yeah, not the father. Oh, you got to donate blood to the child and then the blood does not match. Mm-hmm. She, God will always show There's that. nothing ever hidden under the sun and that's nothing. for real. So that's why I literally just said that the guy should go and go confess because there's no point. I don't believe eventually, you confess my love. Eventually, it's going to come back to bite him in the ass. It will eventually. So. But by then, hopefully we'll be able to handle the situation. <laughs> real shit. Uh, next dilemma. Next dilemma. <coughs> Let me cough. Hello. <coughs> okay, Sorry, my cool. darling. Thank you. A friend ordered gifts for her man, but they broke up before the gifts arrived. Against my advice, she still wanted to send them to him, so I offered to help and she agreed. Gave me his number and money for dispatch, but I didn't send them to him. I kept them and Uh gifted them to my man since his birthday was very close. I even had to start calling him the name on the gifts since they were all customized. As in what? Like the guy's name? Like his actual name? It was Cookie. Hey, Cookie. Thank you so much for loving me, Cookie. She started calling us my Cookie. (laughs) Really? My relationship has gotten better and he showers me with gifts and money. I saw my friend's phone and realized that she is now talking with her ex. (sighs) She might find out what I did. I am very scared but please tell me what I need to do. No, you're not scared. <laughs> I No, take that back. You yeah. are not scared. <laughs> you are very, very far from being afraid. That's not even a friend. Because your move, well, you're not moving like somebody that has fear of God in them. You really give that to your man. I'd rather you not even uh-uh. send it at all, You bro. even started even calling him that name. No. No, now. No, you're that- not asking us to help you. <laughs> Why are you are taking the gifts? Did you remember? No, us? like, no, no, no. That friend is very wicked. You're a wicked friend. You're not even a friend. You said, I said, okay, see these gifts. Let me give my man. Are you for real? Uh-uh. You must find the solution. In this now, are you going to find a solution? No? I cannot help you. But hypothetically, right? If we were to truly help her, uh, how do you think she should deal with this? Me, you know me. Tofu. My own, my own, my solution always is to confess. <laughs> Confess. She, she can, well, she can also lie, Sha. Confess. She can also lie that she gave the dispatch rider, dispatch rider to deliver it and she wasn't aware that it wasn't delivered. Mm, so it's not the lie that you... Did you not give me this lie one time? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, sometimes you got to be smart, right? Sha, the, pick the which one you want. Thing, the best thing for you to do is 
you can confess and be ready to lose the friendship, right? Uh, or you yeah. can lie that you sent it out and you don't know anything that happened. But integrity is better at the end of the day. Eh, okay, integrity. Since so you confess. want to make me look like a bad person, integrity no, is better. No, I'm just saying so at least confess. I'm telling you the truth. If you want that friendship, you cannot confess because me as a friend, friend if you confess that kind of shit to me, you will never see me again. <laughs> I swear to God. Because you can kill me. Do you understand? You legit can kill me. I'm very extreme like that. I'm I very agree. Extreme. I agree. No, no. I any small little, any small sign that ah. I see like this, I'm like, hmm. If you did this minor thing, and that means you that can't she really, me. really, really, really. That means you don't like me. That relationship. That means you want to, to ruin my enemy. She actually that's didn't want that relationship to work. You didn't. She knew it wouldn't work, or she felt it wouldn't work. So that's why she said that she was going to keep that gift for herself. But that guess a wicked friend. Uh-uh. I can't. No friends like that though. No. Like like we did say, God will always reveal it, right? Yes. There's nothing hidden under the sun. Absolutely nothing. But like that's not a friend that I would like to keep. Neither would I. I can't even lie. Neither would I. Nah. Mm. But girl, yeah, you can confess or lie. Make up That's your nice. mind. Make up Pick your mind. One. We've given you two <laughs> options. We will, this is actually the best advice, so we've tried. <laughs> Pick. Do we have one more? Is Do we it? have another one? Let's see if we one have one more. the last and final one. Well, I'm actually enjoying doing these dilemmas. Well. Yes, you are. You know it's your thing. You know you like to advise Agni I do. Like, I could give you the right and wrong answer and then give you the choice to choose. Which one? Get. Which one? And I won't judge you. If you go with the right If you go with the wrong answer. I feel answer. in these situations. Uh, Actually, you're right. them are right. There's no wrong it's answer. It's up to you. It's so up to you. Whichever one you want. <laughs> Based on vibes. Like me, it's how I'm feeling. You no. mm. get but So, moving on to dilemma number five. Okay. okay. <laughs> Should I be worried that my babe moved into her own apartment and almost, and she is almost done furnishing with everything her friends bought for her and when i say her friends i mean male friends oh. she has only moved in there in less than one month oh how should i feel that her apartment is fully furnished Ooh. Mm, girl. all our friends are male male friends uh, it's not even like one girl just helped her to buy something it was all men all oh. men guy friends to be honest, it's okay for you to feel a certain type of way mm-hmm. as a guy, because okay. you know, especially like when, like when your when your partner, or your girlfriend, or whoever your love interest, person that you share a feeling, yeah, is making a big move, <laughs> like you know, moving to a new house mm-hmm. or moving, you know, moving places, new job, whatever. Yeah, as a guy, especially if you guys are in that relationship, you definitely would see the need to you know come through in whatever way that you can, mm-hmm. and if you feel that other men are coming through in the ways that maybe you should have come through. Ugh. It's kind of sad. It's, it's, un, it's, it's unfair that she's put you in that position. Uh-huh. Um, what should he do? What should he do? <laughs> I feel like he should sit down and think um, whether this relationship that he's in is worth the heartache and the insecurities that he's feeling. That's what I think. Hmm. What do you think? Why wasn't he able to furnish the apartment for her? <laughs> no, a be that ass. Oh God. Maybe, is he is he financially capable? Maybe he's not. Because if you're going to please psst, don't piss me off. <laughs> Hey. Bo, do not piss me off. Tony, the reason what why there's mean? more and there's so on this show is that we have Because I actually don't views. believe that you will be with a man that cannot provide for you. Would you be with a man that cannot provide I for you? I don't necessarily think a lot of women get or date men that outrightly they know cannot provide for them because... Okay. Because because that's that's the that best choice. I feel like they probably see other things in that man other than just, you know, the financial security. <laughs> Abby? Am I lying? I mean, no, what, whatever I floats your boat. <laughs> I'm not saying that, that, that that's necessarily what works for me. But, but my I, thing is, I am thinking that I don't necessarily believe that every woman is with a man because of financial depend Depends on the standard of woman you're talking about. That's sure. what I'm trying to say. They're a different level to the so, women. So they're different but, women. So some women may want to be with a man, not necessarily because I of feel his like money. In this case, there are still many the questions to be answered. He's a good listener. He's loving. He's... He has other qualities. So maybe there are other qualities apart from his finances. <laughs> okay. Well, there's still a lot of questions <laughs> to be asked, right? Because deep down inside, I know the answer I would give. But my question is, 
what are you doing? What is the reason why she feels the need to ask her friend for help? And not you. Is it a you thing? Like, let me understand. Is it that you're struggling and she needs to understand that you're currently struggling? You didn't mention that in your question. Do you understand? Because mm. it's one thing for you to explain that you are currently struggling and you've told her to understand and be patient, but she went to her friends for help. Mm. You didn't say that one. Is she an understanding girl? Is she an understanding no? babe? Is it that you are providing for her things now slow down mm. and she's not understanding? What else? Do you understand? But I can't really give an opinion. Because mm. I don't know enough. Mm. But my case is, if you stood up and you were a man and a provider, she will have no reason to step out and ask her men for, I mean, ask her male friends for help. That's actually very disrespectful. Yeah. So it's a case of, my man cannot help me right now. Let so me let meet me my, and guy meet friends my guy friends. And keep, funny enough, she might not even be sleeping with them. Yeah. It might actually be her true friend. Because I have a lot of guy friends mm. who I've never slept with, never fucked, but never will. Of, but a lot of people but will the way not they believe love that. me. But you know a lot of people will not believe that in that situation. And that, who cares he about that? He wouldn't believe that. Who cares about that? I don't care. if Any man that I'm with, you have to understand that I have a lot of guy friends. Mm. It's, these are not guys that I've fucked with. These are guys who actually love me. And these are usually men that are married. Like my guy friends are mm. married. And I know their wives. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so let, let me ask you a question. Okay. Let's say you're dating this guy. Okay. And yeah, you like him. He's, everything's good. All the other things. But then, okay, like now you're in this situation. You move um, mm-hmm. and he's not able to help you furnish your house. He's not able to help me. Yeah, he's not and able I'm to. And I'm dating him? <laughs> Please, baby girl, understand. So you wouldn't be dating him because Do you not know, definitely bro, Tolani Budge. <laughs> like, listen to my name. <sighs> Tolani Budge, T Budge. Uh, A man that is approaching me knows who I am. Just like say. they know the level they know what they got to provide they understand mm. so that's what it is even if you're not able to provide at that moment explain babe i'm not able to give it to you right now but mm. tomorrow at 10 a.m you will get the alert give me is, something is don't it, just leave me tomorrow at 10 a.m a bit short what about the guy cannot provide for maybe like one My month men be provided <laughs> more months <laughs> say- one month <laughs> girl Please get it together. This is Lagos, man. Wait, now if, you, one, if one I man will like not help you, are you pointing at me. If one man will not help you, another man will. Did I say? That's did I say? That men, this is how the I'm thing thinking. is in Lagos, <laughs> men understand that if one man, if he will not help you now, he knows that another man will. That's why men will step up. They are not going to allow you ask another man for help because it's very disrespectful and it, it bruises their ego. And that's fair. Dead ass men will work. What do you need, babe? You need this? I got you. They will send it to you. That's why I love Nigerian men. They are providers and they take pride in that. But there are also, there are also men that belong to stingy, stingy boys association. <laughs> and then if the man is stingy, the babe that is with them is on her because she knew that the guy was stingy. Why are you with him and expecting him not to be stingy Sometimes anymore? Sometimes you will not know now. They will just show their hand. You would have entered a relationship before you know that the man is stingy? <laughs> baby girl. Why are you asking me? I'm trying to just understand the other view. I need to hear your In views. This, no, it's not. It's not about my own view. It's just I need the to other me. person's view. Like another another woman. Not every woman is opportuned to be totally bad to have a man that will provide for And I understand them. that, but, but there are still women this, that are relationships. My though. thing is, if you are going to be in a relationship, right? Let love be there as well. But your man should also take pride in providing. He needs to understand that my babe is beautiful, and I gotta play the part of giving her everything she needs. Even if you cannot provide this right now, find it. Tell her, babe, not right now, but tomorrow morning. I got you. <laughs> Be- we need some sense of urgency. In fact, so, I need to come on these glasses. It doesn't pass 24 hours with you. That, that's it, yeah. So but if the you thing ask is, for something now, no, 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 you but must listen provide me for hours. The thing is, or else. <laughs> no, it's not, even, it's not even a case of that. It's one thing for my man to constantly be providing and then there's a period where he's down. He, he can't, yeah. I understand that. Okay. I, I promise you. If you give, if you constantly give me everything I need and there's a time where you're like, babe, not right now, I promise you, I will understand. Okay. Dead ass. Even That's in that time, if you need help, I will support you based on what you've done, what you've shown for me. So you, so you, you can, you can lend a man money. Um, I say I, money. I, you can lend man money. A man has never asked me for money. A man that I'm dating has never asked me for money. But okay. like my guy friends, I help them out. No guy friends. I mean, man, you're dating. No, never. Okay, but let's men, hypothetically. Men, have, men can. <sighs> Imagine my man asking me. There are men in this Lagos where they never, borrow money I've from never, their babes, though. No, uh. Borrow. If yes, I'm gonna, nah. I'm not gonna borrow. I'd rather just give you, man. And all join, they'll tell you that they'll give you back or they'll tell you whatever. I've never whether, been in that case. Whether you're case, giving yeah. or whether you're borrowing, but there are men that ask women for money. 
Okay, well, I never experienced that. Okay. But if my man asks me for money, right? Mm-hmm. A man that is always doing for me, mm-hmm. I don't mind giving him. It's okay. not borrowing. It's a case of babe, I got you. Mm. I'm going to give you. Okay. Yeah. It's probably right. out of the money you've given me, God, that I'll give you back. Like, ah, it's my man that gave me this 5M move. Mm. He needs 2.5. Babe, I got you. Okay. I got you. Okay, well, 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 let's have song of the week. But before we um, wrap things up, mm-hmm. let's give a shout out to where we got these dilemmas from. Okay. Only in Nigeria. Okay. Only Very in Nigeria. Very interesting um, page. I absolutely love all the dilemmas. I, I like that they're too. short uh-huh. and they're very relatable. Yeah. We got to do these more. Yeah. 100%. All right. So Shout out to Only in Nigeria. Only in Nigeria. So now it is time for Song of the Week. Wee! So guys, the song of the week is Bank Alerts by Ice Prince and Rexy. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Y'all dating right now? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Wait, pause. You and Ice Prince are dating. Apparently. So he's your boyfriend? That's my man. How long have you guys been dating for? 12 years. 12, 12 years. years strong. So he would claim you as his girlfriend in public? <laughs> his girl that's a friend, yeah? No, that's not what you said. You said girlfriend. So that's my man. My man. My man, like my guy, hmm. my G. You guys heard what she said. Now she's trying to. Uh, what do you mean? He's okay though. Twelve years. If you years, brought Ice too, yeah, he will say exactly the same thing. Really? And that's I'm his baby you, girl. You have babies for him. You want to have, have babies? You want to have Prince? babies for him? Our babies would be fine, Shad, but now I don't know. Let me not say no. <laughs> ah, she don't cast herself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ice Prince has got his own thing going on. You know. Hmm. But you know me, I don't want to get married. Ice Prince. You know me. Like, I, like, I like that ring. I like partnership. It has a nice ring to it. Like, yeah, maybe you'll be a nice partner. Ice Prince X Moe a baby. <laughs> Woo! That wedding would choke. Anyway. What would the colors be? Hmm. Fire and what? ice. That's not the album now. So red and what? So red and, yeah, red and blue. Red and blue. Maybe red and purple. Uh, no, purple is nice. Yeah, red and this blue. This is red and purple now. Bad and bougie. That's not like, yeah, I was about to say like red and purple once. Mm. Mm, purple, mm. is purple like an icy color? Bank alert. How does the song go? Bank alert. Bank alert. Uh, see my bank alert. <laughs> bank alert. Have you received bank alerts from him? Uh uh-uh, uh, why not? That's my boo. What are you saying? What's the most amount Ice Prince has sent to you? Uh, uh, what about? I'm, I'm not telling you. Oh, I'm not telling you. I will not tell you. That's between me and my man. Like what? 20 million? Maybe. 25. How do you know that? How do you know he's not? How do you know he's not taking care of me? How do you know he's not funding me? Is he? How do you know? He probably is. That's <laughs> what I'm asking. Like, what's the most amount he has given you? Is enough enough to take care of me? How much yeah. is enough for you, Mo? Because you're not as vocal as I am. At least I feel like you have an idea of what is money to me. What is money? What to money you? to you? Twenty million. It's not all the amount. Apparently, millions that's not now. the universal <laughs> amount. Millions. Twenty now. million is all it takes. You know that I said twenty million. Now. <laughs> twenty million was the first thing I said. <laughs> How much is money to you? More than 20 million or less than 20 million? Uh, 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 more than 20 million now. So like what? If a man gives you 50 million now, you open your vagina. I didn't say that too. If a man gives 50 million, that probably means he wants to marry me and be <laughs> me. So get, obviously, get if he's marrying me, that means I'll open my leg. No. <laughs> you can't catch me. Tell me bad. You will not get me. <laughs> you will not <laughs> You kind of still gave an answer, yeah? No. I when, said, when I said if a man drops 50 million, yeah. that means he wants to marry me now. No? They're smart enough to know your answer. Ah, I bet. My, our viewers are not smart. That means that it's only a man that wants to marry me that I will open my legs for. Me, I love the fact that the viewers can tell <laughs> who is lying and who is. I think they can say, tell her, you will say it how, it, how it is. No? <laughs> she knows what she wants to say, but she knows what she wants to say. <laughs> But she no go talk him. She the fear dragging. I know the fear dragging. I, I'm not afraid of dragging. I'm just, I just don't like being misconstrued. Misconstrued. Yeah. So 15 million is enough to open your vagina. For my husband? Yes. Why does your husband have to pay you to open your vagina? Uh, uh, bride price. What is that? Uh, maybe what so you, you, you don't members. believe in premarital sex. You won't <laughs> have sex with your husband before, <laughs> before my age. <laughs> No, let me you know. will not catch me. No, no, no. But I said you will not. <laughs> I already caught you. Whether no, you like it, I can have I can have premarital sex with my fiance. At least he has gone to meet my parents, gone to meet my family, and has dropped them as bride price. So, so you will okay. not have tested his microphone <sighs> before you say See, microphone, I do. Yeah, this one is working. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Tell the 
That's the microphone. That's the Terry G. Mic check one two one two. Can you hear me? <laughs> that was a good one. Good one. Good one. Uh, so yes, also another week by my boo. My baby, my celebrity Bank boyfriend. Alert. Ice Bank Alerts. Bank Alerts. And Rexy. And the teams of Rexy on this one. Yeah. Song of the week. Song of the week. <laughs> it has been so amazing. Always laughing. I love the fact that always we're, laughing. I love that we're always laughing. Always catching crazy crews. The highest and that's crews. really what this show is about, guys. Yeah. Like we are on season two. I absolutely get tired and frustrated mm. seeing some of these comments of banned podcasts. Yeah. Banned this podcast. Mm. These ladies are destroying our young girls. Yeah. That's not what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Like we, as I said, we are here to learn. Unlearn and relearn. And relearn, so, baby girl. Like, we're just sharing our own experiences, mm-hmm. our own opinions. Mm-hmm. And it's okay for you not <coughs> to necessarily agree. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean that you should bash us. Mm. Like, the vi- uh, variety is the spice of life. These, these, we can't all think my love, the same. Mm? I feel like they're because, always going to bash us, I can't even yeah, lie. They will. But like, because we're opinionated ladies. How about you just see the fun in the show? Yeah. Like actually remove emotions mm. and just watch it to understand you don't have to agree with our opinions like you said but like watch it for the entertainment value yep do you guess like i love to laugh and i want people to laugh as well so mm-hmm. hence why i'll say some off i'll say some things that are a little bit off mm. but i just expect people to laugh i don't yeah, expect them to take so them so like seriously serious. like why uh-uh. but, um, to the point of death threats and all that's not needed have you ever received death threats before i haven't you haven't but people have sent me messages that have almost made me question <laughs> what's it I thought I received a death threat when we yes, had um, Nas Boy we had Nas Boy like on how? from Whiskey FC actually. and even he also received um, death, death threats, threats as yeah, well from Whiskey and FC like, I'm like hello it's just podcast that we're it's just podcast that death we're threats doing. for why is it that when Nigerians are doing something it has to always be different <laughs> People have been doing podcasts in America and everywhere else. Over, they don't get like, death they threats. They don't get death threats. Why yeah. is it when we're doing our own, you don't reach like that? Everybody relax. I said block the person one quick. I said, what? Blocked. <laughs> death threat. Who? Man, what's up? Please don't send me death threats. So that's not big. <laughs> How would you handle that book? Because I know you're very sensitive. I'm very sensitive. Oh, and, you, uh, uh, you write that a pistol in your story. I right? will. Oh. <laughs> I will. And I'll cast the person. No, I'll, I'll cast, cast the person with a long explanation. I mean, I mean, what the <laughs> Oh, bad abushes for fun. Like, why would you like? Why? <laughs> Life is really not that yeah, serious. Like things are so complicated right serious. now for a lot of people in this country. And me and Tony are just trying to just bring some fun, fun into yeah. your lives. Maybe you don't really? consider it fun, but the fact <laughs> that you keep on watching and leaving all these hateful comments means that you actually do. Yeah. So relax. Mm. I like that. Anyway, well. Thank you so much for being the best partner in the world. Thank you, know. you so much for being the best partner too, girl. <laughs> this is the end of season two of the Bad and the Bougie podcast, y'all. And I couldn't have done this podcast without Moe, a baby, and man. I couldn't have done this podcast without Tolany Badge, the biggest badge. The biggest badge, not the little one, y'all. <laughs> one thing about Mo, she's going to let people, she's going to sh- tell people about the good in me. Do you get? I don't like explaining myself, but Mo is willing to say Tony Pudge is not actually bad. Oh, Tony Pudge is sweet. She's like a sweet girl. she's gonna be my mutpiece. So I want to say <laughs> I want to say thank you for that because uh, I really don't have time to attend to haters. But she will yeah, speak she for me, and I want to say thank you. Yeah, I love you, girl. I love and you. I really, really enjoyed doing this show with you. Mm-hmm. I hope that we're back for season three with better guests, mm-hmm. more interesting topics, mm-hmm. some controversial dragging. Oh, my yeah. God, bad and bougie. They always drag us, but like. That's what, That's what we signed up for. That's what we signed up for. Why movement? <laughs> Why <laughs> movement? Trust me. Catch we, us in the next I, like five years. You're gonna. It's all gonna make sense. It's all gonna. It make will. Sense. It will. It will. So yeah. Till then, though. Take Till care then, of yourselves, guys. guys. And thank you so much for kicking out with us. And it's a wrap. Woo woo.